bed off. It looks ridiculous. Authority. I guess. <laughs> so I shaved half the beard off. That way. <laughs> At which point you realise that nobody in Las Vegas has got a sense of irony in the front row. Because you go down there, half a beard. Like half a beard. You go, half a beard. They go, yeah, half a beard. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, fancy. Oh, well, I have to, I have to confess the yeah, Honda one in the mask. Um, <laughs> I have to confess, um, I do have a Hungarian connection here. But my, my fencing coach for 25 years was a Hungarian, Joel Badassi, bless his heart. He's, he's not with us anymore. But uh, yeah, he, uh, he, taught me, uh, he taught me everything uh, I know, uh, most of which I've now forgotten. So I can do it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's me uh, trying to fence Epe, which of course I was a foilist. Uh, but that's detail, detail, detail. Uh, that's what happens when you leave a very, very popular band, they turn you into marshmallows. Then I joined the tribe of gypsies, or kind of, well, they joined me and I did some solo stuff when I left Iron Maiden. Learned a huge amount about music, learned a huge amount about people. Uh, and when I rejoined, oh, learned a huge amount about the Balkans and Sarajevo when I went there in 1994 in an act which some people have said is, was very brave. No, it was just very stupid and foolish. We didn't realise we were being brave until after we left. <laughs> <laughs> and we were still alive, which was good. Um, this was um, not brave, this was really, really stupid. This is the front line. Uh, no man's land. Uh, the people are there with guns, and the people are sort of somewhere here with guns. And I was leaving Sarajevo on the airport from to Rome. I'm a big fan of tanks. So, I used to build water for them when I was a kid. And so I went, oh yeah, 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 let's do a quick selfie by the tank. <laughs> yeah, there I am, standing out, selfie by the tank. You know, I get back into the Land Rover with this army bloke driving me back to Croatia. And uh, he goes, oh good, this is the last bloke that did that, got shot. I mean, <laughs> then I rejoined the mighty Iron Maiden. And we've become mightier and mightier um, ever since because all the stuff that I brought back in, we just cross fertilized everything. The band's been going, I'm not going to go into the statistics and all the rest of it because our manager does that all the time and it's all on Wikipedia anyway. But it's fucking great and we're doing really, really good. And uh, just stand by your internet next week because there's going to be a big announcement which everybody will freak out about, I'm sure. <laughs> You know, like uh, some days you're the pigeon, yeah. some days you're the statue. All right, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> just how you're feeling on the day, a little bit subversive. Uh, of course, I became an airline pilot. I was an airline pilot. For, I was a full time airline pilot, like a proper one, um, with a job, paying me money the same as everybody else. Full time.